All right, guys, so I'm sitting around, drinking some coffee, about ready to get in there, hit some more dips, <clears throat> and I feel like I have to make this video uh, because, you know, I don't check messages. I got rid of my Facebook. I never check my messages on Instagram, um, but I have people that are like, man, please, please answer this question, whatever. So I go, I look in it, and this isn't to knock anyone, but everyone asks the same questions anyways, for the most part, if, uh, excluding like injury, mobility, stuff like that. But everyone asks like, man, like I'm lift this and I look this and I don't look like I lift, like what do I do? And my answer is always going to be the same. I always look at what people are doing. They're always doing too much. Okay, unless you're like a super new lifter. And even then, you don't need to do 10 exercises in a, in a workout. Don't do that. <laughs> don't lift three days a week, especially if you're new. Okay, if you're new to lifting, you're still making noob gains, whatever it may be, lift every single day. Now, here's the reason why you shouldn't do too much. You shouldn't have too many exercises every day as well. Or if you're doing three days a week, for instance, and you have 10 exercises that you're doing each day, or you know, out of day one, day two, and day three, you have no focus. You're gonna go in to your program, and you're gonna say, okay, I'm squatting now, and then I'm going to my floor presses, and then I'm going to my overhead presses, and then I'm going to my tricep extensions and then what what's driving you though you know what i mean like do you really want to progress with each of those exercises okay here's what i would say get rid of the the isolation stuff focus on the compound stuff the big compound stuff okay now that you're doing that scrap some of the compound stuff okay focus on just your deadlift just your press so you guys know how I train or how I've trained for the past few years. It's different now, but that's because it's just the way it has to be. But one exercise, because I have people that actually do it that write to me all the time. Like, man, I put 100 pounds on my deadlift or I put 100 pounds on my or 50 pounds on my bench in a matter of, you know, weeks or whatever, month or something like that. You know why that is? It's because you're locked in here and you're excited and you go into every workout laser focus. You know exactly what you want to do and you know exactly how to do it. Those small bumps, okay? You're becoming more efficient with the movement. Becoming more efficient with a big movement like that. That's what's going to help you put size on as well. So for instance, what's what do you guys think is going to lead to better gains with your lats and your traps? Okay? What do you guys think is going to lead to better gains? Doing five different doing some lat pull downs and then some pull-ups and then some uh, shrugs and some upright rows, doing all that fluff stuff um, for, you know, three sets of 10 or whatever for each exercise. Or do you think you're going to get better gains putting 100 pounds on your deadlift? Okay, that is what's going to really thicken you up and make you look strong. That other stuff, you get a little pump. You look in the mirror and be like, yeah, I look pretty good. Give it a couple hours, your pump's gone. You look in the mirror, do I even lift? Okay, put 100 pounds in your deadlift. A couple months from then, now you're 200 pounds up in your deadlift. You see what I'm saying? You're going from deadlifting 315, all of a sudden you have a 495 deadlift. That is what's going to make a difference in your overall look and your physique. Then your traps thickened up, your neck thickened up. You don't need to do all this isolation stuff. Don't focus on a million things because you're not truly focused then. Newer lifters, two, no more than three exercises. Two is plenty. More advanced, one exercise. Guys, I've been lifting for... 18 years okay soon to go on 19 years i've done all the other stuff you plateau okay it sucks you plateau so hard and then you never and then you just lose drive too because you're like why am i even lifting 
You're not going to keep putting size on, doing the same stuff. Your strength, it's going to go, oh, 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 unless you take a new approach to it, okay? And my biggest regret with my lifting was that when I started, I was doing too much, okay? So, of course, you're going to get stronger with things, but how much stronger are you going to get? You know, you're going to be a newer lifter. Uh, say a lot of guys starting lifting or whatever, middle school or maybe in high school, you're going from benching, whatever, 115. And I know this, guys, because I've trained I've trained a lot of high school athletes. I know where the starting points are and where, you know, beginner, intermediate high school lifters are. You know, you're trying to get that one plate bench. The, the really strong high school athletes are trying to get that 225 bench. But that's like the cream of the crop for most. And then, of course, you got some whatever freaks, whatever huge high school athletes. But I'm talking about the normal athletes, okay? If you're doing up these flies, right, you're doing the, your pec deck and your flies and your inclines and your flat bench and your decline bench, you're, gonna, you're, you're just never going to get anywhere, okay? But if you just focus, just focus on your bench and just focus on your deadlift, if you just do those two exercises and you get from 135 bench to 225 bench, a 315 deadlift to a 495 deadlift, that is what's going to make a huge difference in your physique. Okay, so that's that. That's addressing the elephant in the room, at least for me, when I look at pe what people are doing and then like, oh, what can, what can I change, man? Like, what do I do? Can you send me a program? I don't need to send you a program. It's not about the program. Pick, it's okay, very little exercise selection and you go at it with 100% intensity and a lot of people say, oh, you can't max every day, blah, blah, blah. Okay, first of all, if you hit an absolute grinder, okay, and you're like lit up and super sore and fatigued or whatever, of course you shouldn't do it the next day. But for a lot of the newer lifters, your one rep max is a one rep max for that particular day, okay? You're going to make huge adaptations in strength in from day to day, okay? The next thing... I'm just going to finish this video up, so I'm changing rooms. The next thing that I'm going to address is how do the, the people ask, like, oh, how do I put size? How, you know, how do I gain more weight and strength? Okay? When I say this, I say this with my heart and soul. Drink the gallon of whole milk, okay? Because people always come back at me and say, man, I can't drink that much milk, or man, I don't drink milk. Well, then I don't know what to tell you. Because it's not just the calories in the milk. The, the whole milk, okay, the gallon of whole milk, 2,400 calories. That's not what it's about. It's not what it's about the 2,400 calories. You can get the 2,400 calories from anything, okay? It's easy to get the 2,400 calories, but there's more to it in the milk. And it's not just the micronutrients as well. It's not the fat or the protein. That's, that's not what it's about. Of course, those are all factors to the bigger picture, but there's also more to milk than just micros micros and macros okay there's growth factors and peptides in milk you can look it up you can see there's plenty of research on it and that's why a lot of people are so against it like oh man like oh it's gonna be it's gonna lead to cancer or whatever all right it very well could okay no one's saying that it's super healthy to drink that much milk but if you're looking for a quick fix to put a lot of size on naturally that's that's the secret, okay? And it's no secret because this has been done time and time again, all from the old school strongmen up until now. And the people that do it, if you just go online and you Google like go mad results, you'll always see. I I looked it up again just for for laughs. People put like 20, 30, people even put like 40 pounds on doing it. Okay? It's not magic, but it, it kind of is. And you can't replicate that by doing, by, you know, just, well, maybe I'll just have more chicken breast or just have some rice. That's not it. There's more to it than that. Okay? So if you're coming to me looking for advice on what I should do, how to put more size on, how to get stronger, how to look like you lift. Okay, I just talked about the exercise. When I say the gallon of whole milk a day, if you really want it, do it. Okay? It's like anything else. If, if you ask your teacher, okay, how do I get better at doing this? And they tell you what to do. If you don't do it, that's on you. Okay, I'm sorry. 
your coach. Hey, how do I improve with this particular position? Or how do I get better at, you know, for whatever, uh, high school, college wrestling, you know, I really got to improve on my, you know, on the bottom position, the top position. Like, how do I get better at leg riding? And they tell you what to do and you don't do it. That's on you. Okay. I am giving you the answers right now to put a lot of strength and size on. If you do it, I have nothing else for you. Okay. Cause that's, that's it guys. It's really as easy as that. End of video.